hopefully your bee box looks like this and is full of baby bees. So in autumn to early winter, there's lots of things we need to be thinking about to ensure that our bees stay safe over winter and have the best chance of survival into next year. Rain is the main problem for solitary bees. If you're worried that your bee box may get wet over this winter, perhaps it's, there's not a sheltered spot or there isn't enough of an overhang on the roof to make sure that the bees are definitely gonna stay dry, then you may want to bring the whole box inside to a safe dry place. So not inside to a house, but inside to a shed or a porch or a lobby, any area that's cold but is definitely gonna stay dry. The solitary bees don't mind the cold, but they like a stable temperature. So you wouldn't want to put them in the windowsill. You'd want to put them in a dark cupboard, in a porch or garage that's going to stay dry. The second thing you want to be protecting your bees from are the birds. So woodpeckers in particular will have a great time pecking out all of these baby bees and could probably do so in less than a day so once the bee cells are filled, whether that's tubes or canes, it's a really good idea to protect them. So I'm gonna show you another box. And we've just got some really simple wire that we've put over the top that we've stapled over. You may have this lying around already or be able to get some chicken wire from the garden center. Anything that's going to protect the baby bees that can go over the top for winter and then you'll simply pull it off next spring when the bees emerge so that there's no disturbance um, on the way out or for the next bees when they come in.